Hey guys, this is Dave from the Kodo back with another Raspberry Pi tutorial. I'm going to show you how to get uh, the Blink library set up. This is going to be used in future videos, uh, for instance, controlling an 8 channel relay or other things where the Blink application from your cell phone to the Raspberry Pi is going to be needed. So, the first thing we're going to start off with is once you have already set up the Raspberry Pi, you have upgraded and updated everything, and you're able to log into it via PuTTY or you're doing this on a, a, a TV with a uh, keyboard, uh, you're going to want to get or make sure that you have uh, the git core. You want to make sure that this is installed uh, because we're going to use that to get the, uh, the the blink library. So that's already done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do git clone and then this uh, URL which I'll put in the description down below because it is kind of it is kind of long but github.com slash blink with two k's slash blink library dot get so we're going to grab that now what this is going to do is it's going to set up the blink library which will also allow you to get the wiring pi uh, files that are going to be needed for controlling the gpio ports on uh, the pi from your cell phone and like I said, this is all getting ready to then use the the Blink library for controlling uh, the Pi via your cell phone. So we're going to change directory here. And you'll see here, it's kind of hard to see, but you'll see there's Blink library there. So we're going to go to Blink-library slash Linux. We're going to jump into that directory you can see here. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of a cleanup here make clean all target equals raspberry hit enter on that it's going to go through it's going to just clean up some some stuff off of the off the pie the, the stuff you didn't need that was pulled from from the git uh, and then we're going to launch dot slash build dot sh raspberry and what this is going to do is it's going to it's going to finish building the the blink library as well as reach out and grab the wiring pi information or files that it's going to need for controlling the GPIO ports. Uh, once this is all done, all we have to do is then run the blink application, which will put the Raspberry Pi uh, into the mode where it's going to be accepting uh, commands from the blink application on your cell phone or your tablet or whatever you're using blink on. Uh, you can set this up to automatically run uh, once the Pi is turned on, which you may want to do so that if, for whatever reason, uh, power is cut to the Pi, it'll automatically start back up. And you can set it up so that it runs in the background so you can still do other things on the Pi while it's running. Uh, but for the purpose of this setup, we're just going to set it up and then run it so that it's, it's working. So we're just going to wait until this finishes, and then I'll show you how to run that. All right. Once that is all done and it has installed the Blink library, it's installed Wiring Pi. Now it's a matter of firing up the Blink application on the Raspberry Pi, so that your cell phone or your tablet can talk to the Pi and control the the GPIO ports. This is where you're going to need the token that is given to you from the Blink application. Um, I have an old one that I'll type in here, but uh, I'm going to stay in the Blink dash library slash Linux. Uh, let me clear this it's a little bit cleaner. Uh, in in the, in this library or in this folder, you can see that there's the green blink. That's what we're going to run. So if I go sudo dot slash blink dash dash token equals, and then this is where you're going to type in the token that is given to you on the cell phone uh, when you make an application on in inside of the blink application. So I'm going to type this out. Hopefully I don't screw it up. This is obviously going to be very specific to your application. Um, the easiest way to do this is to is to email it to yourself from uh, the Blink application on the phone. 
uh, and then you can just copy paste it into putty and hopefully I did not screw this up let's find out so we'll so sudo dot slash blink dash dash token equals and then the token of the application you get from uh, blink on your on your device and let's make sure this works okay so connecting to cloud.blink.cc ping ready and now the pi is sitting in a state ready for commands from your device in my case it's going to be a cell phone controlling uh, an 8 port relay or a um, or an 8 channel relay or just a an LED that you're testing out with but now the Raspberry Pi is connected to my network it is installed with the blink library and the wiring Pi to control the GPIO pins uh, and it's in a state now that it's waiting for commands so now you're ready to start messing around with your applications on uh, on the blink application on your device uh, there's no programming required the only thing you need to know is the GPIO port that you're going to be using and make sure that that's connected properly which I'll go through in another video when I set up an 8 channel relay uh, but uh, you're ready to go now. You didn't have to do too much on the Raspberry Pi, just a couple of commands. But hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or if you have any trouble, put them in the comment section below, and I will hopefully be able to answer any or direct you in the to a place that will help you with those questions. Uh, but check out my channel for some more Raspberry Pi slash Blink tutorials. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.